Adha, one of the biggest festivals of the Muslim year, and the holiday has started in earnest. This is Zara Park, which lies between the monuments of the Green Zone on one side and the skyline of central Baghdad on the other. But this fairground is a world away from that Baghdad. This year, Sunnis and Shiites celebrate the first day of Eid on a different day. On this day, the Sunnis are celebrating the start of the holiday. Some festival goers say they didn't dare come in 2005 and 6 because Baghdad was too dangerous, but it's safer now. The army security procedures are doing good, very good, out in the streets. Here, youthful aggression is channeled. And although the police are armed and out in force, everyone seems more relaxed than usual. Away from the fairgrounds, there's a more serious side of Eid, also known as the Feast of the Sacrifice. This Sunni butcher set up shop in a rival Shia area on his busiest day of the year. In the past, you didn't feel safe to go from here to there. You can see now, all the people are coming to the slaughter from all sects, Sunni and Shia. On the first day that Shiites celebrated Eid, families enjoyed a day out at the Riverside Park. But the peace inside belied continued fears of the Baghdad outside. You see people now are going out and are happy, but when you go out of the area, you'll find all the roads blocked, all the streets are silent. You don't sense that there's an Eid, there's no flavor of Eid. Bombers have targeted previous holidays, so the Iraqi security forces are out patrolling and searching partygoers. So the big feast day has come to an end, both versions of it, Sunni and Shiite. Today and yesterday were good days. Everyone's waiting to see if there are more of them in the future, or if everything goes back to the way it was three or four years ago. This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times in Baghdad.